to the losers. We made an oath. S I swear. If it isn't dead, if it ever comes back, we'll come back to We didn't stop it. Pennywise. So first of all, you obviously have your younger counterparts playing you in this movie. It was 27 years prior. Wanted to ask you if we were going to go jump ahead 27 years, if there was going to be an It Chapter 3, who you would like to play your, the older version of you? And I have light suggestions if you can. <laughs> Yesterday we had talked maybe when someone asked this question, I mean, there sh I don't think there should be an It Chapter 3 because we're finished with that book. And um, I mean, I would, I, I, I mean, I just don't think you should. But if there was, um, Sissy Spacek could, would be amazing. Oh, That's nice. a good one. That's not one I thought of. Hmm. Uh, top of the head, Richard Gere. Yes. Ooh, that's good. I like that. I had uh, for you I had Dennis Quaid and Kurt Russell. I'll oh, take good. them both. both yeah. And Jessica for you, I had Jessica Lang, Mia Farrow, or Julie Andrews. Um love them all. Julie <laughs> Andrews, well that Wouldn't would that be awesome? Make a musical version. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's best, how would that musical. go? That would yeah. <laughs> a horror version, a horror <laughs> music yep. musical. You know, sitting around this table, you guys had to have, you had this dinner and you got to reflect a lot in this film about the younger version of yourself. You're, when you were younger and you were the young loser's age, who did you idolize? Like, who did you grow up wanting to be? I saw something on your Instagram, like a clown costume. Oh, that you posted. it was one of my first Halloween costumes yeah, so was as a clown. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, I, but I never saw the... I didn't yeah. base it off Pennywise. No, but it was, was it was a doppelganger. Like that was close. <laughs> that was good. My mom did my makeup, so good wow. job, mom. She knew. Um, I'm trying to think. I mean, I liked Alyssa Milano. She was on Who's the Boss, and I thought she was really cool. And I was kind of a nerd, so I was like, she's rad. Um, and then actually, and Andy knows this about me. Um, I was obsessed with the New Kids on the Block. Obsessed. And Joey McIntyre. I thought I was going to marry him when I grew up. I bet my sister a thousand dollars. I would. <laughs> I love this. I love lost this. that money. Too late now. Mm -hmm. She's taken. <laughs> Twenty-seven years. I dreamt of you. I craved you. I missed you. We obviously see the younger version of yourselves in this film. If we were going to do an It Chapter 3, 27 years from now, who would you like to play an older version of you? Oh, Judy Dench. Love it. Perfect answer. <laughs> that dame. 27. Ooh. 27. Yeah, wait. I have suge light suggestions if you can't think of any. Light suggestions. Light yes. suggestions. Light no, wait, you, oh, you yeah, have light uh, suggestions oh, yeah. for if you us. Can't oh, think of any. No, 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 Oh, that's nice. You know what, Rufus Sewell, I, I've got, I, I'll, I'll go with that. I like okay. it. Okay. But that Isaiah wouldn't work. for you, you, Denzel, I've got to go Denzel, Forrest Whitaker or Danny Glover. Oh, oh Danny <laughs> Glover, I love that. Danny Glover. I love Danny Glover, Glover. Danny yeah. Danny Glover. Because you can actually, because he got stressed like, out when he said, no, but he, I love it. And he can more. also go like, I'm getting too old for this shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's good. That was very, that was very, very good for you. Have Andy Garcia. Andy Garcia. Or Michael Douglas. Michael Douglas. Oh, it's because I have no upper lip. That's why. That's not why. Michael Douglas doesn't have an upper lip either. Oh, yeah. And I just went Jack Nicholson for you. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. He's a, uh, yeah, that'd be great. Can you please give me one or two? But I think you nailed it. Yeah, I think you nailed it. I would have, I would have, I would have gone Harry Dean I Stanton. I would say. Yeah, he's too old. A, 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 and dead. A Gary Busey. For, for me, uh, with uh, Gary Busey. 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 You know you'd like to see that. Gary Busey as Stanley. I've never. I love yeah. him. And then I would have gone Jake Busey as Eddie. I just like Delroy Lindo. He just. I, he's like. Yeah. <laughs> That's he, good. He just. Like, he makes me laugh every time. Like. So. Bill, I heard that in the dinner scene, it was my favorite scene in the movie, I loved the chemistry between you guys. I heard that Andy was sort of giving you a dirty dancing Patrick yeah. Swayze direction. Yeah, but he called it, he said Patrick Swayze. Got it. Because he okay. doesn't speak English yes. well. Yes, How does a director like, direct you if he doesn't speak English? No, he does a good job. He does a lot of movie references yeah. like that. He's like, no, I'll do Patrick Swayze. So how come it didn't make it in the movie? Is it on the cutting room floor? Did you yeah. go full dirty dancing and have the time of your life? Oh, yeah, I picked up. Uh, James McAvoy, like Jennifer Grey. 
<laughs> and then um, we had a very graphic sex scene on that table. <laughs> very long, graphic, yeah. incredibly awkward, no music. Yeah. <laughs> Not I have the time, I have the time of my life. No, like, no, 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 no. It just okay. like Andy wanted to go a different way with it and then it got really disturbing. Yeah, and then James was just like crying a little bit. No, 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 he was liking it. Uh, <laughs> did, he raise, did you raise him over your head? Did you do the lift? No, 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 I'm f***ing the shit out of him. Look at Jill, look at Jill. <laughs> Jill, like this. I watched it. Oh, she did, she got her head her head. Oh, I can't this. Um, obviously, there's younger versions of you in this film. Mm -hmm. Who, when you guys were their age, did you idolize and sort of want to grow up to be? Um, Michael Dukakis? No. <laughs> I don't, no. Uh, when they were, when I was their age? No, when, when I was age. their age. I, I remember uh, River Phoenix was really cool. Remember mm -hmm. River Phoenix was in a movie called Night and Life of Jimmy Reardon. And the girl I had a crush on, her name was Christy Coffey. And she went and saw it, and she was like, oh my gosh, he's so cute. And then I, he was in Indiana Jones, and then, I saw oh. Insta and then he was in Stand By Me, I mean, he was in Stand By Me before all that. And I was like, that guy is cool. I will never be as cool as that guy. I, you, I didn't, younger, I, there wasn't really anybody that was, but I know when I was like in college, like I thought uh, Donald Faison was like the funniest mm. dude in the world and clueless. So, so <laughs> I, I, I still think he's funny, so. <laughs> I was always like more musician stuff. Axl Rose, but that ended up not being. Bonnie Raitt? Yeah, no. Bonnie Raitt? <laughs> yeah, you love, I love Bonnie Raitt. I was, such a, I was such like a Jim Carrey fan when he came out, like in all those movies in the 90s. I just couldn't get enough of him. This meeting of the Losers Club has officially begun. We can do this, but we have to stick together. Time. I mean, you've been playing these characters now. I've never seen anybody do either a Pennywise impression or I've never seen anybody do an impression of your older counterpart. Can you do either? Oh, man, the pain. Oh, my. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm going to do Bill Hader. Okay. Oh, I'm Bill Hader. <laughs> I'm even British. British. <laughs> and a British, 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 British now. He's British now. No, that's how he talks. <laughs> yeah. just Isaiah, I feel like Isaiah and me are one and the same, so he'd be like, oh yeah, Old, Old Spice, yes. Oh, that's really good. That yeah, really hold good. on, do Bill again. Arg, ladies, <laughs> walk the plank. Nailed it. He Tens does that all the time. Oh my god. All the time. See, we should just play our older versions. Yeah, that, I know. That, you could do that. Well, they should have, also, they had CGI. They could have just aged us up. I know. Easy. They Opposite could. of Gemini Man. They could. Well, I kind of have a question along those lines for you guys. Like, I'm sure you get told you look like people. Is there any sort of sequel, reboot, or remake that you would love to sort of take on? That's a, That's a great good question. Good question. Good I, I already have one. But okay. You, uh, uh, I don't know. You know. Uh, what, I'm trying to think of a really good old movie that I like. I'd like to do person. something like Alien. You could be yeah. I think Alien would be a really be fun Beetle. environment, like kind of set Beetle, to be on, because the set designs are so cool. cool and like, yeah. they just like make the world even better and being on those sets would probably be pretty spooky. Did you come up with one? I like to be in like a biopic. Mm. Who? Who? Do you I don't know. Bill Hader maybe? Bill? Yeah, Bill Hader probably. <laughs> yeah. um, I don't know, there's a bunch of people. You were just saying, I think he could play be a, a beetle. He could be a beetle. Yes. I don't know. That would be beyond amazing. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. yeah. That'd be cool. What about you? I'd do Muhammad Ali for sure. Yes. Oh, dude. Oh my gosh. That would be that. amazing. That'd be a lot of fun. You would kill it. That would be so cool. I, I picked Edward Scissorhands for you. Oh, that's yes, such a nice thing. Oh, Thank yeah. you. I love that movie. I, I just watched it recently and it's so sad. It is. It's one of my favorites, but yeah, put it out there. There you go. Edward. Yeah, it's so good. Um, so you guys wrote letters to your adult counterparts. Was there one sort of, I know you sort of talked about it, but you haven't really said what was in your letter. What was sort of like your shining moment that you think? And I know you sent Bill a picture of yourself and he refused to put it on his mantle. I did send a picture of myself. It was Warner <laughs> Brothers. <laughs> Warner Brothers, what was it? Warner Brothers had a picture of us and it was like framed. It was all pictures of us framed. Oh yeah, and Andy Bean got one too. Mm -hmm. As yeah, and oh, everyone was like, yeah. "I feel weird having a child's picture framed <laughs> in my trailer in my house." Like, oh, is that, your, is that your son? Bill no. was like, "Why is there a picture of Finn Wolfhard in your trailer?" <laughs> and he's like, "I don't know." So th yeah, they didn't go for it, and I don't blame them. It's pretty weird. Mm -hmm. But um, uh, yeah, I, I said something like, "I um, uh, hope you're enjoying Hollywood" or something like that. You're famous and stuff. So it was in character. Yeah. I love that. Mm -hmm. I love that. Um, for me, 
because because Mike is such a sweet guy, but he was raised to kind of be a loner in a sense. I told him, of course, you have to be smart and be strong and be wise, but still let yourself have fun, you know, because you need that friendships. Your 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 crew. <laughs> this is your own hand. Hey, uh, I didn't. I don't really remember anything in particular. I just remember kind of writing about staying strong and staying with staying with the friends I made during that summer. Yeah. You guys actually made me cry in the end of this movie. Oh, thank you. Aww. Yeah, it was kind of wild. We're seeing um, it tonight for the first time. I know. I know, I'm excited We'll try to you. cry so too. So last question, um, the adult version got a dinner scene that was kind of epic, and I know you guys mm -hmm. will see it tonight. It's the opening scene of the movie. If you guys, as a cast, got to have a dinner scene, what one actor would you bring to the table? Ooh, ooh, that's a great question. These are good questions. Probably Andy Bean or something like that. Oh, I think I, I good answer. Yeah. Andy Bean, <laughs> just out of Austin and Andy Bean. Yeah, hmm. no, that'd be cool. Yeah, it would be cool. You're right, it would be cool. I don't know. Um, like, you searching for him in my eyes? I don't know. Like, chosen, you go. I would invite. I would invite Remy Malik. <laughs> Oh. I feel like that'd be a very interesting. A, interesting dinner. I would invite Keanu Reeves. For good. I've seen all of us die. It consumes us from the inside until we don't have a choice anymore. How's everybody doing today? Great. Okay? Fantastic. Great. <laughs> okay, so first of all, you guys, your older counterparts had the task of sort of emulating you guys. If you can, any of you do an impression of your older counterpart or yes. Pennywise. Okay, go. Done. The Rolling Stones is a boy band. <laughs> Rolling Stones, totally a boy band. Um, I know a bunch of conspiracies, but I'm not going to indulge because it's going to waste my time and I don't have time to like use my brain power right now. <laughs> okay, Ryan. And well, he's from New Zealand, so he's kind of like, his accent's all over the place. Hi there. He's he's like, oh, it's like, you don't really know where he's from because his accent's always different. He talks very quiet. But he has a jacket on all the time. That's very good. That's very good. Uh, You're actually easier. You just got way sexier after no, you did that immersion. No, that's hard to do. Your accent is hard to do. Mm. Uh, Squish. Uh, Travis Walker Boy. He's like, sip of... Oi! Oi! <laughs> Oi, <laughs> Oi, I'm for sure. Oi. I don't know how to do it. My pops. And <laughs> dude. And dude. Get out of here. I, I can't. Can you even... He's Irish. I can't yeah. do Pennywise at all because or Pennywise is, is so Irish. hard to hard. intimidate. Yeah. And also... Also, intimidate? I mean, imitate. Um, but also, oh. Jessica is also hard to imitate. You can take a hard shot if you want. She's just you, she's just you but like. Okay. She's like Hi. me, but. <laughs> but I don't know. Nicer. That was good. <laughs> she, that was good. Nice. she does have a higher voice. Hi! Yeah, I'm yeah, so she has nice. a higher voice than Sophia. <laughs> yeah. Well done, everybody. Yeah, thank you. Well done. Thank you. Um, so I know you guys wrote letters to your adult counterpart. Was there sort of one thing that you're particularly proud of? Because I don't think you've ever really said what you wrote. Um, I kind of went over. Um, the fact that Bill should not feel guilty when he comes back to Derry, that he's, sh cause he, he, he's kind of defined by his guilt and that he feels about his brother and um, he feels responsible about forcing like Stanley and, and, and his friends to go into the sewer. Um, but I wanted to make sure that when he goes up, he doesn't let that uh, put him down, that he kind of uh, goes past that and that was becomes his own person. That's like crazy. That was beautiful. I know you made me cry in the movie, you guys, and I feel like I might, I might, I might cry, I might cry again. So the older um, cast got a dinner scene in this movie. Yes. yes. You guys didn't have your dinner scene, but if you got to have your dinner scene and you could invite any person to join the dinner scene, who would it be? Like any person in the world. Any person. In the world. Jim Morrison. <laughs> nice. Uh, Deadpool. Wow. The character Deadpool. Yes. Um, Not both. Right. Okay, you could have them both yeah, simultaneously. Exactly. Okay. Like, Terrible. That's a terrible answer. Jeremy. Like Frank Ocean or uh, Frank Ocean, really? Tyler the Creator. <laughs> Frank Ocean. Tyler the Creator. Uh, so J. Cole. Me. I would like to be a part of it. <laughs> <laughs> no I'd like to be invited to the dinner. The dinner. I'd like some more. That's an excellent answer. And then, real quick, um, if you guys could do a remake, a reboot, a sequel of any movie that's been done, cause Indiana I Jones, and I could play Indiana Jones. And you got the hat. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and you can um, play Marion. Hold on, I had an idea. Yeah, Skip me. Two. I'll come back. I have an idea. Go. Okay. Mm, 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 mm. You go. What? Really? <laughs> uh, I had a Ghostbusters! Really <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. Almost had, famous. Oh, good one. It's a thin I had a really I'm good, good one. Billy and I forgot what it was. Billy Crudup? 
I've always wanted to make a remake of this thing, but I don't know what it is. Culture Nancy guys. Drew. <laughs> Nancy Drew. Nancy <laughs> Drew. Shazam. Yeah. Um, I'm that. I'd like to do a remake of Shazam and recast uh, Freddie Freddy Mercury. <laughs> yeah. Whatever your name is. <laughs> Freddie Freeman. <laughs> Freddie Freeman. <laughs> Sophia. Again? Pretty in pink, and you can play Molly Ringwald. Oh, Goodbye. my God. Oh, yeah, that's oh good. Oh, my God. I was always daddy's little girl. What about you? Are you still his little girl, Beverly? Are you? Great to see you. Congratulations on the movie. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I heard Bill talked a little bit about it. It got very R-rated, his description of it, but he talked about- Bill Hader or Skarsgård? Bill Hader. Yeah. Talked yeah. about um, when you guys filmed the dinner scene and you were telling him to do a Patrick Swayze and go oh. do Dirty Dancing. Here we go again. <laughs> and he said, but he said, yeah. um, he, his description was very R-rated, but for you, why did that not make it in the movie? Is he not, does he not cut a rug? Is he not a good dancer? And, and yet the Jabba the Hutt impression made it in the movie. So what's on the cutting room floor? Could you do a whole extended scene of Bill Hader? When you enter like this, you know, uh, whirlpool of improvisation, you do more than, than you know that, that it's gonna end up in the movie. You just don't know what is gonna en end up there or not. So you just do more and more. And the truth is that we are all human artists and we, we all get excited and sweeped by the moment. So I got excited and I started like throwing things to, to Bill and you know, and he's, he was game, you know. He's, a, he's incredible, like the whole Jabba thing he brought, uh, he surprised me with that and uh, and there was other deals of improvisation for the montage of that scene, yeah. where the where you know it has to be very spontaneous, and and we have to see the the losers having fun and catching up. So that's how montages are. Might you ex set, put out like an extended scene or something deleted or something in like the extra? <laughs> you want to see Bill Hader dancing like Patrick Swayze, right? That's that's what you want. Yes. I think you will see it in the supercut. In the supercut? Yeah. Well, let's talk about the supercut. I'm yeah. sure you've been talking about it. But, mm -hmm. um, so will it be just a linear thing, like chapter one, chapter two? Will there be any sort of a mashup between the two, sort of like inter intertwined? No, I don't think there will be like, you know, intertwined like uh, in the in the Godfather uh, uh, redux that they did. This is going to be, well, we're still talking about it. You yeah. Know, it's, it's very in early stages, but it's going to be, uh, the two movies cut back to back uh, with all of the scenes that um, that were not included. Is in the there release. something in particular that was most important to you that you were like, I need to, I need people to see this? Oh yeah. Should I tell you? Yeah. I don't think so. Oh come on. So the most important things are two scenes that I want to shoot. That you want to shoot. Yeah. That you haven't shot yet. I want to. I want to keep shooting. I want to include in this super cut. I want to include two scenes that are. Uh, that are very cool. Wow. And those I can't tell you. Is there a possibility, yeah. would you want to do a prequel? Uh, of course, everything about this world is fascinating. <laughs> and of course, you know, I, I've been like speculating with myself and, and some people uh, with Bill and stuff, but it's nothing that uh, is gonna happen like right now. Hello. This film, when I compare it to the first one, it seems like for you guys, from a production point of view, so many more set pieces, sort of, m there's just so much more going on. There was like an underwater sequence with Jessica, there was the blood sequence, there was even like the de-aging, I know the kids were de-aged. Yes. So for you, from a producer's point standpoint, like what was the one, the, the thing that was the most challenging? The most challenging, those are elements, I mean, clearly this is a much larger film, yeah. greater scope, more story elements. Um, we knew it from the get-go. We knew it as we were finishing chapter one that in order to finish the book, the second part would have a lot of meat. Um, most challenging, um, was to be completely honest the schedule because we had 15 um very busy very talented <laughs> right. stars yeah. uh in in you know in in the film and uh getting them all together um to do this was was tricky um 
the rest, you know, we have the most amazing crew. Andy is uh, a very knowledgeable director, um, very creative and, and also flexible. So there's always ways um, to, to work things. For, I think for the talent, uh, for our lovely actors, it, it was, uh, you know, it was a tough shoot physically. Yeah. And it sounds a, like it. A lot of them didn't expect it to be right. Um, so so physically demanding. Well, a lot of like dramatic actors that I think have never been put in like a horror situation or more of an action situation. So yeah. So but, um, so I talked to Andy and he said, I mean I think everybody loves this world so much. The he first one was a huge success. This will be a success. I asked him the possibility because I think there's not. I don't know if there's a place to go with the sequel because it wasn't written. But he mentioned a prequel. Would you be up for it? <laughs> I'm up for anything that my brother wants. Uh, that's the way we roll. Uh, but we'll see about that. It's um, you know what what I love is that we did something incredibly special. Mm -hmm. It's a book that I read when I was 15 in my bedroom in a neighborhood in Buenos Aires, and now we've just delivered. The conclusion of that book, and I can't freaking believe it. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna make me cry, and I cried at the end of this movie. So, but for I you, did. I mean, because you were a fan, I mean, to I can't imagine what that would be like to be a fan. Maybe the equivalent for me is interviewing somebody I idolized growing up, but then working with Stephen King. What sort of element about working with Stephen? Are we both crying right now? No, no, because <laughs> <laughs> like, what is happening? <laughs> it's an emotional thing. Yeah, day. like tell me about. Um, so this, that that dream come true. He's, you know, we are the filmmakers that we are because of him. Because we read him when we were little kids, and he taught us about humor and drama and fear. And um, you know, we got to do chapter one, and we didn't know him. And um, then after chapter one, well, when we showed him chapter one. Um, he sent Andy a love letter, you know, saying how wow. much he had enjoyed it. And, and then he asked if he could see the film again because his grandson was graduating. And that was what he wanted for a graduation gift, to see it. Um, we started this amazing correspondence. And then on chapter two, we got to really get to know him. and. He came to set, and set visits are three, four hours tops. Mm -hmm. And he stayed in Port Hope, which is this tiny town outside of Toronto, two hours outside of Toronto. He stayed with us for three days. And uh, I cannot describe what this man is like, the most generous, kind, funny, um, human being it's I'm in awe of him and I will be uh, until the day I die